This is Geometry Chapter 1-4, Measuring Angles. And we're going to cover these topics, angles, sides of an angle, the vertex of an angle, the measure of an angle, naming the angles, classifying them, and what's a congruent angle. And then finally the angle addition postulate. So here, this is an angle. And then we have to, we have to identify parts of it. The ray extending from A a to B and continuing infinitely, that's a side. And the ray for going from starting at A and extending infinitely through C, that's another side. And this point of pivoting or the, or the, or the intersection of those two rays is point A, which is called a vertex. When we designate that, we always designate um, the vertex here at A that's the center of the three letters that we write. So we're going to write B, A, C, or if you want to write, oh, and you put an angle symbol in front of it, or you make it angle C, A, B. And if it's an angle by itself where there's no chance of, in, of misinterpretation, you can just say it's angle A. Here, we're naming the angle, and see this, this angle up above, let's see, this angle in here, that's angle B, A, F. That's this angle. Right? And then this smaller angle down here is F, A, C. And all together, going from B, A, C, that's just the two angles together. That's, you know, angle B, A, C. And in this case, you can't say it's angle A because there's too many to pick from. You know, you, you list the vertices here, and then, well, you don't know if it's that one in yellow, or the one in green, or the whole mess. So you can't say angle A in this case. But if we go back a frame, so you can here because there's only one angle to pick from. So angle A is fine. Uh, okay. Naming an angle. Well, we could also, if you put a number there on the interior of this angle, B A F, then we can say um, that this angle here is angle 1 and the other angle here that this is angle 2 okay and then you know the whole thing is still with we, we have to just say angle BAC for the two combined angles there going from B to A to C because we're you know there's there's too much information there we're, we're stuck with using three letters hi right. Um, I've already made reference to this before. This is all the interior. And anything outside of it is the exterior. Now, this angle A is, you know, BAC can also be viewed as just this part right here. That's the same angle. And it extends infinitely. Okay. Finding the measure of an angle. Well, when we ever we write measure, when we're finding out how many degrees this is, then we're putting a little M in front of that angle symbol for BAC. Now, I was expecting a protractor to be on there. Let's go to the next frame. There it is. So, let's drag that protractor up. And you have to have it centered. And then, I'm going to twist this a little bit so this way that that zero degrees is laying right on one side. Now, when I open this up, it should lay right on that, but see, it doesn't. So I have to sort of move this over so I got the vertex in the right place, otherwise we'll get the wrong measurement. So, looks to me like in this measurement here we got 57 degrees. And you do. You start I mean, I know there's a 57 written on the screen here, but look, if you start at zero, you pick the scale that the next thing is, is 10, not the 170. So look, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and then count the, count the spaces here. So it's 57 degrees. So I'm going to write, or try to write. No, I can't. All right, let's just tap this and make it go away. It won't. Oh, well. Let's use a smart board, then I'll touch the board. Okay, and then we'll grab a mark, 57 degrees. So, the, uh, 
Okay, now it's gone. So the measure of angle BAC is 57 degrees. Done. Okay. Right angles. Right angles are 90 degrees. Perpendicular lines. This right here, and that mark indicates 90 degrees perpendicularity. That this is this is a 90 degree right angle. So the measure of angle K, then the vertex A J is 90 degrees. Whoops. There you go. Now I'm right. That's it for there. Let's go to the next page. So these are acute angles. Right here, I'll color them in. This is an acute angle. And this one is an acute angle. And they're also adjacent angles. Um, acute angles are angles that measure less than 90 degrees. So that would be angle JAC is acute and angle FAC is acute. Now, obtuse angles are angles that are greater than 90 degrees. So that's going to be this angle right here. So angle BAF is obtuse. And if you look a little further, we could say we could say from here to here is obtuse, right? So that would be angle B A J. Alright, let's see, adjacent angles. I already covered that. Um there you go. And then let's see, that's gonna be this angle is adjacent. Or we'll pick another pair. We'll make how about make these two are adjacent? Just gives us a second set of examples. So angle C A J is adjacent to angle uh K A J. Okay. Angle addition postulate. If you have two angles that are adjacent, you can add them together to get the measure of the whole angle. So BAF is this, and angle FAC is here. And together, when you add 40 and 24, you're going to get 64. So the measure, the measure of angle BAC is 64. I think that's sitting on the projection. Nice four, huh? That's a little better. And, okay, that's the same thing. Let's see if there's a definition. It says if point B lies on the interior of angle AOC, and it does, and you have that ray drawn from A through B, then those two angles add up to the, to the whole. So AO, measure of angle AOB, and the measure of angle BOC adds up to the measure of AOC. Yeah, that's true. And that's it. Thank you for watching this. And I just got to walk to the back of the room and turn it off. There you go.